Hey everybody, it's Dina with Paper Guacamole on YouTube and on Etsy. I wanted to share with you a project that I'm working on. Um, this is going to be a slow going project because as I mentioned before, it does take me a while to put a journal together, but I um, was at my friend Hermelinda's house last weekend. Hey Hermelinda! And even though she had shown me uh, probably about a year ago how to put a journal cover together, um, I asked her to show me again and I was really excited that she actually posted a video this past week step by step on how to create a journal cover. Um, so what, what I kind of have in mind is working on two projects. I want to work on a um, really pretty colorful journal that um, the theme is going to be positivity. Um, I love positive, you know, quotes um, and Bible verses and all of that. It really just kind of, you know, staying on the positive and just kind of keeping that at the forefront of, you know, my day just really makes a difference. So um, what I did was, I guess this is almost going to be not just a colorful journal, but almost the shabby chic um, type of style as far as the colors and everything. So um, I went to her Melinda's house and she um, showed me again a second time how to create this beautiful uh, journal cover. What I did was I used the um, Havana paper uh, from Prima. It is my favorite uh, paper pad and um, you know, journal cards and everything. So not only did I want to show you um, this beautiful cover that is in the very early stages, um, I wanted to just show you some of the um, Prima ephemera and the paper that I'm going to be using in the journal. So this is just a beautiful, um, you know, sheet from the, pa from the paper pad. And it is stitched with gold thread in a zigzag pattern. And the corners are rounded off with the one quarter, um, one quarter inch rounder. And uh, the inside is a beautiful, beautiful polka dot shimmer paper. It's Kool-Aid dyed. And Hermelinda also has a tutorial on Kool-Aid dyeing paper. So this is a, and also a Kool-Aid dyed piece for the inner part of the journal. And it is sprayed with shimmer spray that she also showed me how to, um, how to, I guess, um, you know, make and um, spray onto the paper. So I don't know if the light is quite catching it. I think it might be. But on top of the beautiful pink Kool-Aid dyed polka dot paper is a gold shimmer. Um, I also took some of my Inca Gold and I um, kind of ran it across the corners of, of the inside and the outside of the journal. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this because this Inca Gold... Um, it is the gelb gold or yellow gold color of the Inca gold. It almost dried as a yellow. So I don't know, I don't know what if I'm gonna keep that or maybe just go over it with just some vintage photo or something, who knows. But um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful cover. I'm already happy with it, aside from, from the Inca gold, but that might that might just be a preference type thing for me. Okay, so anyway, um, I what I'm going to do is um, I bought, and then I'll get into the paper, but I bought the journaling note cards of the Havana uh, Prima uh, pack, right? And I bought it in the 4x6 and then the 3x4 also. So um, the 3x4 are exactly like um, the 4x6. And I took this card out of um, out of the journal, journaling note cards, and I think this is what I'm going to use um, on my cover. And so it's a quote, or it's a, it's a just a positive saying that says, "We get so worried about being pretty. Let's be pretty kind, pretty funny, pretty smart, and pretty strong." 
So I thought that that was just really neat and it would be a great addition to the front of the car of the um, journal cover. I might cut it a little smaller and then obviously add some some decoration to the top but um, I wanted to set that aside and just show you the journaling note cards. Um, you know, again, I just love, you know, the positive quotes and um, this, the journal, journaling cards have, they're mostly quotes. So this is one that says, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And I'm just going to kind of do a quick, I'm not going to go through every one of them, but this says, like wildflowers, you must allow yourself to grow in all the places people thought you never would. Um, E.V., right? Let's see here. This says, a heart at peace gives life to the body. And let me go, I like this one. It says, chase adventure. So anyway, that's just part of the journaling cards that come with the paper pack. And I will do a quick flip through of the 12 by 12 paper. So here is the Havana by Prima paper. Um, there's 24 sheets, then they're double sided. So let's see here. Kind of. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. How can I do this? So um, this is. Um, I'll just do a quick flip through. And they're foiled paper. Um, hello. This is some, some birds. Um, these are some other just blank journaling cards. And um, this is some foiled, I guess, cutouts that you can do. Um, but again, just really pretty turquoise and pink and gold foil and um, just really just some gorgeous paper okay so there's that Let me move this. Um, I also bought some of the flowers that go with the paper pack and some really neat crystals. You have some ephemera pieces, <laughs> more flowers. And I'll just show a few of these. Um, sorry for the crinkling. This says, sweet memories. Adventure, Fearless, A Little Ticket, Happy Thoughts, Lovely, um, Cherish, The Best, and this says Beautiful. So those are just a few of the, uh, from the ephemera pack, right? Let's put that there. And then this, sorry for the glare. I'm still getting used to filming and my setup and the light. Uh, I'm just glad that I have some light and that my video isn't going to be so dark. Um, this says sing and dance, friends, still I rise. So, anyway, and yet more stickers of basically the ephemera pieces. So, um, that is um, the first kind of journal that I'm going to work on putting together. And there we go. The next journal I'm going to work on is um, I'm going to work on a vintage journal. And so what I did was I coffee dyed some paper and so I kind of wrinkled it and then coffee dyed it. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a shimmer to it. So I sprayed some of the shimmer spray on there and um, just kind of put together, you know, some coffee dyed paper for my vintage journal. Okay. Um, 
I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of some polka dot coffee, coffee dyed paper. Okay, so I'll move that aside. Um, I fell in love with this paper. Um, I saw this, actually, I saw a pattern from this paper. This is a paper pad by Recollections. It's English Rose Garden. And I believe it was this paper that I saw on one of uh, Hermelinda's journal flip throughs a couple of weeks ago and I fell in love with that paper. So I asked her what paper it was and she had an extra pad and she gave it to me. So thank you, Hermelinda, you are such a sweetheart. Um, I'm gonna use this paper to work on my vintage style journal. So what I did was um, I took this, um, this foiled gold foiled paper floral paper from the paper pad and um, while Hermelinda and I were together and she was showing me how to um, get the journal cover together I chose this paper pad and I haven't um, I haven't added any any pattern paper to the inside you know maybe I'll just use some coffee dyed paper I don't know yet um, I have not rounded the corners yet I might leave it as is we'll see um, but I just thought this was just a really, really gorgeous uh, cover for my uh, upcoming vintage journal. So um, this is the English Rose Garden um, paper pad, and um, it is single-sided, but it is just so pretty. I just love, 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 love the papers in here. You have the little butterflies, little flowers, some journal cards. There's that paper that I fell in love with that she put in one of her journals. And um, these are um, some journal card pieces that have little flower packs in them. They look like little flower seeds. So um, that reminded me of some um, flower seed packets that I'm going to add into my Etsy store. So what I'm going to do is incorporate not only those journal cards from the paper pad, but I wanted to show you some of the seed packets that I'm going to incorporate in the journal, um, in the vintage journal, and I will also have these in my Etsy store. So um, these are from, they are vintage um, flower seed packets from the Lone Star Seed Company and these are absolutely beautiful these remind me of like a lithograph type artwork and if you're not too familiar with lithograph it's it's just a very vibrant and bright type of uh, print on things so in addition to these seed packets I also have some lithograph um labels off of like orange crates and labels off of um vegetable jars they're they are vintage as well but um i just love the color and the style of lithograph art so this is a jack bean um seed packet and on each of the seed packets on the back it just kind of um, explains, excuse me, a little bit about um, the planting process of, of the flower. So you have that. We have these beautiful yellow zinnias and uh, something kind of cool. Um, in Spanish, zinnia is margarita. So I thought that was kind of cool. But this is a yellow zinnia. This is a white moonflower. These are some beautiful scabiosa. Um, let me see here. I cannot think, are these like hydrangeas? I can't think of, of the type of flower, but they're, they're just really pretty. They've got a pink and blue set there and on the back. Um, beautiful red petunia. What's the story, Morning Glory? You have a beautiful pink Morning Glory. Some Scarlet Runner seed packet. Beautiful purple sweet pea. You know, I just love purple. So, um, 
You have that. You have a white zinnia. And the last one is a red poppy. So each of these vintage seed packets, um, they're empty, obviously, and uh, they're open. And there is a little bit of, you can see where um, they're kind of like yellowed uh, on the inside because they are vintage. So I will be listing these in my shop by the time you see this video. Um, but again, I am really excited to um, be working on these journals. I will probably be working on the kind of the inside, the tags and the different things I'm going to put in the journals uh, before I, I start putting them together. Um, it does take me a while to put journals together. So um, I'm just going to have fun and take my time and kind of take you guys along for the ride. So. Anyway, I hope that you're having a good one, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.